Welcome to ASC TV. My name is George. Thank you guys and gals for tuning in on this unboxing episode. We're talking about the Rode Video Mic Me, a directional microphone designed for the Apple iPhone and iPad. <laughs> In the box, you will find a brand new, high quality, corduroy condenser microphone that is the Video Mic Me. Some instructions with like four words on them, so you don't really need that. A rubber clip to hold it in place, and a dead little kitty. I want to mention that I'll be interchanging the Video Mic Me and the iPhone 6S Plus mic randomly so that you can hear the indoor difference. Also, really quick for all my Android fam out there, when I said design for the iPhone, that was because of where the headphone jack is located on most Android devices. The, let's call it furry gerbil, will get in the way of the camera's lens, pretty much rendering your videos useless. I know, it sucks, right? But there are ways around this, albeit a little bit more expensive. You'll basically need the Rode video mic that comes with the shock mount. Just make sure to get the Rode SC7 TRS to TRRS patch cable and a tripod mount like or similar to the one that I have which is the Xylist Z-Grip rig. Hopefully I pronounced that right. It has a solid adjustable grip and tightening screw to hold your phone in place, but more importantly, a cold shoe mount. If for you, bigger is always better and you have the extra cash, go for the Video Mic Go, which also works great for your DSLR or video camcorder. However, the sound does come out a bit richer on this mic. If you're sticking to your iPhone opposed to a DSLR, consider getting the Iographer filmmaking case for those dual horseshoe mounts. This mic is a dual microphone, so not stereo, rather it will output the same audio to the left and right channel. If you're looking for a good mic that's in stereo, try the Zoom IQ7, or if you're willing to spend a bit more, try the Zoom H5 handy recorder kit. As far as Rode mics go, this is a much cheaper option than from what's out there for this level of quality professional microphones and then I mention quite a bit lighter this mic is directional so as many of you know it will pick up the sound from what's directly in front of it and the mic does a great job of blocking out most of the sound that's around it or from behind because it is a directional microphone it does reduce the surrounding noises to focus on exactly what you're filming or to focus on your voice if you're recording what's in front of the lens but want the commentary from behind like in this video I made with the client on set Pay attention to the background noise. We had a little Bluetooth speaker. You can tell that the mic did a pretty good job of blocking out the music. And then this over your shoulder. Or I'll put it for you. Like just it. holding it. Yeah. How do you feel the way you're shooting? I feel really, really, really happy. Um, everyone looks beautiful. Once plugged in, the onboard mic of your mobile device will be canceled out. There is no battery needed. There are no switches, no wire. All of this making it incredibly easy to use and run around with, which is exactly what you want when you're using your mobile device. It's very well made with a super compact design and no worry that the 3.5 millimeter jack will break. This is not made of some cheap plastic, it's very robust and it feels very nice and incredibly solid to the touch. Something made of quality that will last you quite some time. Or until you get that iPhone 7 that apparently as of the filming of this video looks to have no damn auxiliary jack. It is super simple to use, once plugged into your headphone jack you just Spin it to your face or to the face of your talent, then just add the rubber clip that they have included to the back and squeeze firmly. While this clip is well made, the only issue that I have with it is it's pretty dang tough to get it off. The rubber that it seems to be made of sticks to the microphone like glue. There's a bit of a trick to pulling it off, but nothing that will peel your nail back, although mine are pretty thin. So I have found that putting your thumb or finger on the back top part and giving it a few wiggles will shimmy that bad boy right off. Another great thing about this is you won't have to remove the mic every single time you want to hear playback because there's nothing worse when doing mobile video recording than to want to check the playback levels and forget to pull out the mic and realize there's no sound, then pull out the mic and realize the video just froze. First world problems, I know, but I mean, come on. While you can monitor the audio levels with this microphone, you will not be able to with the stock app that Apple provides. I'd recommend a $10 app that I find to be worth all 1,000 pennies called Filmic Pro. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. Whether you have or have not, go check out this channel, Epic Tutorials, where he puts together a five-part epic guide to Filmic Pro. He's made some really great tutorials on how to better use it. Link in the description. If that app is a bit out of your price range, try an app called Movie Pro. It's only $5.99 as of the filming of this video. 
I haven't used it, but it comes highly recommended. Not sure if it would allow for checking audio levels. I checked the app details and they made no mention of whether it would. If you know, leave me a comment below because I'd like to know. Now, I've used this mic for small interviews with two people sitting across from one another and I have done one with four people. And in all honesty, I wouldn't recommend it for that. However, for interviewing one person or two people standing next to each other, BuzzFeed style, or for selfies, it will blow the inbuilt mic of your mobile device out of the water. For interview style mics, may I recommend an inexpensive lavalier microphone? Check out the Rode Smart Lav Plus Lav for smartphones, along with the Rode SC6 Dual TRRS input and output for smartphones. However, this mic works very well if you are within four feet of it, so it's perfect if you're vlogging or doing live videos on YouTube or Facebook Live, Periscope or Meerkat, and of course Snapchat or Instagram Stories. Before we go outside, since you're most likely thinking of replacing your inbuilt microphone, then that's what we'll be comparing it to. Another thing I wanted to mention was to check and make sure before you start walking around shooting video that the rubber in the dead hamster is attached to the groove of the mic here in the back. It won't really fall off, but it might just hang off all lumpy-like, and that's just not a good look. Now, if you're looking for something smaller and easier to carry with you, let's say in your pocket or your bag, then the video micro is going to be the one you're going to want to use for, let's say, Canon or a Nikon. All right, so as I've been walking around, I've been doing a test with the dead kitty off the microphone. So this is what it sounds like with traffic behind me, cars going on. This is a test, one, two, mic check, one, two. This is a test of the Rode Video Micro Me, or the Rode Video Mic Me. This is a test of sound quality with all the vehicles behind me and no windscreen attached to the microphone. Now I'm doing a test with the front-facing camera on with the furry windscreen mic on the phone. As you can see, there's a bunch of cars going on behind me. Again, this is the test, test one, two, mic check one, two. This is a test. Of well, you can definitely use the Rode Video Mic Me with the Voice Memos app that comes with the phone to record audio. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. When I tried this by manually holding up my phone above my guest speaker as a makeshift boom mic, the recording was quite low with no way to increase the levels other than in post. Perhaps there's a better app in the App Store that will work great with this mic. I just haven't bothered to look for one as I don't think I'll be doing much of that ever again. Even with a protective case, this will fit, except maybe a powered case like the Mophie battery pack type, due to the fact that their extra battery is on the bottom of the case and, well, so is the mic input. If you're an idiot like me and bought the 16 gig version of the iPhone, then you quickly sought out memory options. If the Mophie was your go-to but prefer better sound over battery life but need that memory, then may I suggest a flash drive like the one that I'm using from ScanDisk. It's got some issues, read the reviews on the App Store and you'll find out everything you need to know, but it does work. What's great about it is it's thin, it has no cable unlike some of your other options out there, but with a case like the one that I have on, something as thick as the Tech 21 or as thin as the Olio case, there will be no problem getting it to stay on firmly. My final thoughts, this is definitely the solution for mobile video. I think you'll be pleased with the frequency response and quality. So there you go. It's very light, it's very portable. You try it out, see what you think. Let me know in the comments. This question, but other than the room types you're gonna need for the event itself, you're gonna wanna know if the venue can provide you with room and board for guests, since it's quite possible that your guests could be coming in from out of town. Requesting both types of rooms could land you a discount, so don't be afraid to